Hey, so we've been working really hard to find a new keeper. Looking at lots of people. Let's go meet some of our new recruits. Welcome to the Football Club. Have uh, any of you guys ever played keeper before? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Devotion to Promotion, the start of Season 7 with Nuneaton Borough. We have taken them from the bottom of English football to the championship. We have one more level to go, but we have a new chairman who's put on some pretty high expectations for us. Once a mid-table finish, even though we have the smallest wage budget in the league, except for perhaps the team we're playing today, which will be Wigan. Wigan. So we'll square off against them shortly. We have a lot of things to catch up on. If you saw the last episode, you know that we were desperately trying to find find a keeper and a left back as well as central midfielders and wingers and center backs and all those kinds of things. I think I have three good newses and three bad newses. And on the whole, I feel like we're in a little bit better place. We're in a considerably better place than we were a month ago. So let's dig in and get started. As always, when we start out, likes are appreciated as are subscriptions. If you're new, that helps so much with the video, getting the videos in front of new people. And I would also like to say thank you so much for all the support over this series over the first six years and continuing on. It's almost always so much fun to read everybody's comments and to see people uh, enjoying and watching the content. So thank you for stopping by and watching. I know that we're all super busy. And so the time you've given to the series has been greatly appreciated. Let's jump in and start. First of all, the good news news. We have some signings. We got, I think, really lucky in many cases because we brought in that mass. We had no goalkeepers. I mean, we had one guy who old lady plays that thought looked pretty good. And I wasn't really sure because when he played, he didn't look good and kind of conflicting information. I think maybe he would have been somewhat adequate, but I think with the team where we are, we need someone better. But check it out. We do have now one, two, three, four, five, a ton of signings, a bunch of signings. A lot of them are right backs. I kind of went crazy on right backs when we didn't really need them. I'm not sure what my thinking was there. But anyway, that aside, I think we've solved some problems. In that mass, check this out, Johan Cardinale. I'm not quite sure if you say that name right. But in this massive kind of uh, trialist that we brought in, he showed up. He was Leeds United's keeper last year when they were in the Premier League. And they got, I think they're down with us now. But he was, and he, apparently he just got dismissed or left or something like that. 32 years old. We signed him for a very reasonable 5,750 pounds per week for a three-year contract. Probably won't be able to use him, I'm guessing, the third year. But maybe for this year and the next year, if he stays healthy, I think he could do a pretty passable job. His numbers look good. Certainly a lot of green there. So I, I'm super thrilled that we seem to stumble on the one goalkeeper that was left. And I was sure someone was going to sign him and take him away for us, take him away from us. But we did manage to get him. We also solved, if we look at some of these other signings, we solved our left back problem with a loan. Uh, Jose Maria Perez is in pretty look, good looking left back. He's kind of slots out at the championship level. We got him on a loan from Manchester City. So he's in. We did also sign... Uh, Rico Henri, who is now he's going to probably start today, I think, down on the left, on the left, at uh, the left back position. So that gives us two pretty good left backs. I was not able to get a good center back. The one that we uh, were trying to sign got scooped up by somebody else. We did also get a good left winger. This guy, Tom Ferry, looks pretty good. 21 years old, good speed, pretty decent crossing, significant potential upside. So pretty happy about that. He already slots out as playing at the championship level, and it looks like uh, could improve a lot in the future. So uh, work rate issues aside, I think he looks pretty promising, and he also will start out on the left side today. So I think we have, and oh, I want to show one more guy here. Uh, there are probably a couple other guys. Uh, we've got a couple of the loney guys and things like that and some right backs. This is the other guy I wanted to show you. On loan from Arsenal, Malfe Sommer. Check it out. 17 acceleration, 16 stamina, 17 technique, 16 finishing, 16 first touch, 15 dribbling, 14 composure, 15 flair, 14 deter. Like every number that's important for an advanced forward, he's got good numbers for. This is by far, I think, is at least in terms of attributes, the best player we've had to play for our team at any point in time. So he will be starting up as striker. I may move him back to midfield because we'll get to the other one of the negatives. So on positives, I think we got a left back, we got left wing, we got a goalkeeper. The negatives, we could really use another center back of our own. Um, I did sign, yeah, we could use another center back of our own to keep things simple. That would be helpful. And I really had, I tried, had like three or four midfielders slotted to sign and we only got one of them, the lesser of the four. 
The other three, uh, two of the other three were scooped up by other teams at the last minute, which was really frustrating because we desperately need a midfielder because the other thing that's gone wrong is that F uh, Fiore and Walsh, our first and second best midfielders, are hurt and can't play today. So we literally are scraping together a midfield for this game. And if we look at our schedule, we got a bunch of games coming up in the next few weeks and we're not going to get Walsh, for example, our good defensive midfielder back probably for the whole month. Fiore might be back by the middle of the month. So we're desperately looking for more midfielders. I do have one question for people. I probably have to answer it before this, but I'm curious to see what people think. This guy, Tatsunori Sugiyama, Japanese. He is, by theory, an outside right winger with some pretty good numbers. We would have to pay 250000 for him for a transfer fee, and he would be asking a little bit under 6,000 pounds a week. So a significant amount of money. Looks really good as an outside winger. I would like to bring him inside, however. However, his tackling for more defensive roles seems a little suspect. Advanced playmaker, his composure and his vision are a little bit suspect for this level, but I'm wondering what people think. Looks like he's got a pretty big upside. It's a lot of money, though, but we don't really have other options at the moment. There are some people I'm looking to try to pick up. If we look here, let's take a short list. I think they are. Here we go. Here's some midfielders I'm trying to get. I've ticked all of these guys off because I tried to sign them once and they wouldn't take what I was asking for. They're asking for a lot of money. But like this guy, I think, would be a much better fit for the midfield. But we kind of need somebody fast. And Lewis Bate, I think, could also do some good work in there. Uh, pretty young, 23 years old with a big upside. And they'd be significant. I, I don't know. We tried to sign him, and they wanted a ton of money. And then you get that back and forth, and now they won't talk to us for a while. I'm hopeful that once the season started starts and they don't have a job, they're going to sign for perhaps a lot less money. This guy as well, this guy Jimmy McKenna, looks like he could play in there a little bit. Vision work rate kind of bothers me. So we have some other options, but with everybody hurt, I'm kind of feeling like I need to sign someone. So I'm leaning towards signing this guy, even though I could probably sign two guys if I wait like a couple weeks. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, let me know what you think about him after I show his numbers here. Like, would you sign him for conceivably using him inside, or is it just a little bit too much money for what we're getting? I mean, I think he'd be okay. I just don't think spending a lot of money for him in that role might be good, but whatever. Anyway, we're starting to belabor the point. But I think that's it. Finances-wise, after all these signings, we, are, we have 362000 left in the transfer budget. Our wage budget work is 137,000 because I moved some over from the transfer budget. We're currently spending 114. If we sign um, the Japanese midfielder, we're at 121,000, which would still leave us about 16,000 to play with. So all in all, I'm feeling like we're in a much better place. And if we do go look at this right here, the league table, if we look at media prediction, after all our signings, we've shuffled up from 22nd place to 14th place. So I'm feeling a little bit better about where we are. Certainly mid-table finish, we still have a lot of work to do. And our paper-thin and highly hurt midfield has me concerned because we're starting off with so many games, we kind of we don't have enough midfielders. So that's a big problem. But other than that, if we could get a couple of midfielders in, I'm feeling a little bit better about the team. Of course, the big question is what happens next. Can we do it on the pitch? Today, we're going up against Wigan, who got promoted with us. I think we are all set. It is the 1st of August, 2026. Here is our starting lineup. Um, trying to think, most of the Cardinale, of course, is new in goal. Our two center backs back from last year, Holmes and Marcio Mitchell, was our loaned in right back from last year. Henri is our left back. For now, he's starting, but I might bring the loaner. Uh, we just, we're maxed out with loans because we have five guys on the roster that are loaned in. So I had to start uh, Henri instead of our other left back, Perez, who's on loan. Pozo is replacing the injured Simon Walsh, who's out for three weeks. Uh, he got hurt yesterday, which was a bummer. Not nearly as good. He was kind of an emergency signing a couple weeks ago when I realized we needed bodies at midfield. Rabuano is replacing the injured Fiore. Kirby, of course, is back. He was one of our better players last year, although showing signs of inconsistency. Flynn worked really well as an inverted winger on the right side. He's going to start there. He's looked really good in the preseason as well. Our new signing, Ferry, on the left will be there and then of course we want to see the debut of Malte Summer for us I am really excited this guy has looked incredible in the preseason in the friendlies just really flying all over the place making goals you're like whoa boy if he can do that during the regular season we're there because we don't have enough midfielders we're kind of going with our 4-1-4-1 uh, 4 one 2 three. We're playing on the road as well. Normally, I would like to go 4-3-3 in this situation, but we don't really have 
enough midfielders to put them out there. So with that in mind, let us submit this team and let us start our seventh season here. Pretty excited about this happening. Let's go to the dressing room. Let's go to our tactics, opposition. Ask assistant. They're coming at us with the 4-4-2. This is their first match in the championship. Let us show them that it's going to be a long slog for them to stay up. Let's go to team talk. Encourage the players. Give them a bit of morale boost. We are the underdogs. Uh, I don't think that. Let's go here. Cause an upset. And for lack of better options, let's have faith in these people. And I know um, we've got a few players here. Like, listen passionately. They, the newer players aren't quite yet uh, drinking the Kool-Aid yet. So we only have seven. Looks like seven starters back from last year. Let's end the talk. Deep breath, everybody. One, two, three. Kick off play we are in our yellow and black going from left to right Wigan in the blues going from right to left and I'm doing this a little bit on light sleep so I'm hopeful that I don't make a lot of mistakes Wigan with the first highlight down here oh Cardinale oh that's okay <laughs> so our new goalkeeper drops the cross and they tap in an easy one did he, did he drop the cross? Did he just drop it? Oh, what the heck happened there? Okay, so two minutes into the new season, we're down one to nothing. <laughs> God. Okay. This is a match we kind of need to win, too, because... Okay, this, that's, we're going to go positive enough. We should be beating this team, I think. Mm. Let's hope we can get things going here. They're, we're out-possessing them. Come on, Rabuano, show us how. Oh, blocked. Okay, back to Pozo. Mitchell, Henri. That's it. Give us more. I'm a better highlight. All right, let's intercept this. See a mistake. They got to be getting nervous. Oh, they got an injury already. Musa is hurt. Come on, boys. Let's grab this. Nice block. Clean it up. Let's go. Get it, get it, get it. It's dangerous. Blocked. Nice. Good. All right. Ah. Shane Flynn has possibly suffered a tight calf. But we should be able to nurse him through the rest of the match. We probably... What's he doing here? Down to 80%? Uh, let's give him a little bit. Let's give him the rest of the half here. Let's see what happens. God, another injury. Kirby, Pozo, back to Rob Ronald. Let's tie it up here before the half. Flynn, back to Mitchell, back to Flynn in front. Kirby. Gotta get the ball to Summer. Let's go. Kirby to Rob Ronald with the shot. Ah, that's not good enough. Come on, boys. Another highlight for us. Here we go. Pozo to Henri. Ah, back to them. Uh oh. This is dangerous. Oh, it's gonna be a penalty. Ah. God. This team shouldn't be that good. I mean, then Wigan shouldn't be that. We're clearly that good. God, we just suck. Ugh. So our left, new left back just left them all alone. What was our changes? I don't know what they were. Yes. Let's, good Lord. Okay, demand more. Come on, boys. We're better than this. Focused. Let's get one back before the half. 39 minutes. Not doing anything. We're even on shots. Got to get shots on goal, but we're in regular threat. Oh, really? Oh, yes. You can save it. Paying you enough. Not the greatest start for Cardinale. Oh, kicked it to the wrong team. Come on, boys. You know, I was thinking, too, there's that achievement, just saying, where you go down by two goals at halftime and you come back and win. And still, in all of playing, so this is seventh season now with 2,000 blocks. Good. Wow, we look terrible. So in all the seasons with 
FM 20 and all the seasons with FM 19, probably like 10 seasons, and all, never gotten that achievement. So we've never been down at halftime by two goals and come back at one. Again, one game. I think this would be a fantastic place to start. Dressing room. Tell the boys their performance was disappointing. It was worse than disappointing. It was assertively bad. Expect to see a much better showing in the second half. That was horrific. It was nothing. I mean, I get it. A lot of us haven't played together yet, but we need to. Why are you happy? <clears throat> you shouldn't be happy. The defense, oh, 6.5s and 4s across the board. Okay, how is Flynn doing? Is he still 79%? He's fine. Let's go. Come on, suck it up. Let's get a goal here. Let's get started. I think we might have to go to 4-3-3 after like 5-10 minutes here if we don't get a goal. Ah, I'm headed to them. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's why. I wanted to turn this on. We're not pressing. I'm giving him too much time. God, I forgot that. that. I wanted to turn that on. I meant to do that with this tactic here. So now we turn it on. Let's get in there. Oh, so close. Okay, a corner. That's better. Now that we're pressing, maybe things are going to light up here. Can we get three goals in 40 minutes? Oh. Okay, we're going to go... 55. Okay, another corner. Here we go. Maybe just all we had to do was press. Get in there. Oh. Come on, boys. We need one soon. Let's get one. Let's get this started. Okay, 58 minutes. Let's get Pozo out. Do we have... Okay, here's our plan. Summer's playing better. Let's try this, though. 4-3-3. We're going to bring in Jeff's for Pozo. Bring Summer back here. Put Jeff's at attacking forward. Put Summer as... He's fine here, though. Advanced playmaker. Attack. Put him as deep-lying playmaker. Support. That'll work. And then Rabuano as center midfielder. Attack. I don't know if we got them in the right places here. Let's flip them around here. Let's go deep-lying playmaker. Support. And let's go... Advanced Playmaker, Attack. And let's see how that works. Does he want to be on the right? First to be on the right, or in the middle, in a three-man grouping. Okay, get in the middle. Fine. Advanced Playmaker, Attack, Deep Life. Let's just try this. See how that works. I have no idea if this is going to work at all. But we need to get some offense going. 61 minutes. I feel like... Get in there. Oh. Get the bar. Come on, boys. I think the tide's changed a little bit since we've done this not since we switched the formation but 66 minutes we need a goal tactics what else can we do pass into space shorter passing i like what we're doing on the whole um flynn how's our wings doing he's terrible okay so let's get aaron Rowe out on the right side as winger attack for our second sub and we better save our third sub flynn was slightly hurt too Let's demand more here, too. Shout. Demand more. This would be a disappointing start to lose 2 to nothing. although it's... Oh, damn it. I'm not doing anything. Oh, no, they got a highlight. Good. It's our highlight. Ha-ha. They were just tricking us. Come on, fairy. Feed it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Get it. Finish. Oh. What was that? So much open space. Okay. Boy, time is just chewing up. Let's go all attacking here. Hit early crosses. Transition. It's fine. Lines up. I feel like I've kind of mismanaged this one a little bit because I should have had us get stuck in. I should have had us pressing early on. And that's when they kind of were taking it to us. But, oh well. Let's go a little more direct. That there, and let's make our last substitution. Uh, Ferry's been good on the left. We don't want a defensive substitution. Still, let's bring in Naylor Everett and get fresh legs out there. And let's try that. Ten minutes, come on. We can still do this. Let's get a point. Okay. Minutes. We need two goals. Let's go very attacking. And let's go... Push forward. 
God, frustrated. We're not. God, nothing. Here we go. Still four minutes. We can get two goals. Uh, maybe not. Okay, it's a long season, right? So we can't let one one game define it. Summer in front, Miller Everett in front. Ah. Okay, that's not a good deal. Gosh, we outshot them too. Make changes. Let's go, Jeffs. Go to goal. Well, that's disappointing. I am not happy with your performance out there. Let's get out of here. Well, 20th place. Okay. That's a disappointing start against the team that just got promoted, for sure. They were playing at home. They're probably excited, but... I felt like partly that's on me, too, because I think we should have been pressing from the start. That would have thrown them off their game. We let them play to their strength, I think, a little bit. So I'm feeling a little bit stupid for doing that. But, oh, well, um, 45 matches to go, one match in the bank. It sure is a lot different from our first match last year, which, if you remember, I think we won 6-1 to one in that first match against Sheffield Wednesday last year. So a little bit of a different start this year. A little bit concerned with our hurt midfield that we're going to struggle here. But, oh, well. There you go. Let's go to the inbox. We can profit from wasteful, none eaten. Yeah. Harley satisfied with the win. I don't care about that. Henry Henri makes debut. A lot of players making a debut. We'll talk about the post-match press conference. Gah! Frustrating. So anyway, there you have it. Our seventh season is underway with a kind of disappointed, with a thoroughly disappointing start. And again, we have to get mid-table. Boy, I hope we can turn things around quickly. I'm not sure how patient this owner will be, but a lot of football left to be played, and hopefully he remembers last season. Gah! Okay, anyway, we will be back for our next episode. We're going to play through uh, this month. We'll be back probably for Ashton Villa, who uh, just got relegated from the Premier League, or Sunderland in the next month. So we're going to try to go through these games. Hopefully we'll have some midfield reinforcements back by then. Hopefully we look a little bit better than we did in our first match here. But in any case, thank you so much for coming by. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing again if you're new. And we'll see you at the next episode. Thanks so much for stopping by.